what's up, people? So it's like 2, 2 30 in the morning. I don't have to get up as early tomorrow, but I still want to get up early because I do want to spend some time with my mom. But I finished The Priest Graveyard. Anyway, this book was amazing. Um, it was a little tiny bit predictable, but um, still. I loved it. It was amazing. Um, yeah. I just, like, right after I got done, like, listening to this audiobook, um, I realized that my definition of a good book is one that I can connect with the character. Like, I feel for them. Like, you know, I don't want them to die. Or, yeah. You just feel something for them. You mood, even though you're not really living it, gets altered just a tiny bit. Like if someone dies, like in the book, you're like sad or annoyed about it. Depending on how, the, they, how they died or who died. Or you're happy because the like, evil guy got shot. But yeah. So this book um, is mostly about like two people's like journey of trying to figure out what's right and what's wrong. There's Danny who um like is like struggling with like well he wasn't struggling until he went right now, but um like his struggle like trying to figure out what's wrong and whether or not he is a monster um because he like kills all these people with people who d he does kill are like really bad people and Renee is just a dr drugged person who's trying to figure out what happened to the guy she loves and like where he went and who killed him. And yeah, it was a good book. I liked it. So if you have time, I'd recommend you read it slash listen to it. I don't know, all the YouTubers have those, like, audiobook, um, code you get free and stuff like that. I don't. <sighs> yeah. Oh, uh, but yeah. Tomorrow, we're going to, me and my brother are going to Wisconsin. My dad and my other brother are already up there. Excuse me. But, yeah. Tired, <laughs> making sure I got everything. I don't know whether or not it's gonna be cold tomorrow. I'm hoping it's a little bit chilly so I can like so they can wear a jacket. Um, but probably not gonna happen. Yeah, my luck. It's gonna be hot. Uh, this nail is bugging the hell out of me. I just clipped it and it's still like not like good. Yeah, there's like a little bit of like stuff sticking out and it's not gonna hell on me. Put my nail clipper right here. Uh, but yeah. Um, I went to the burrito night. It was super fun. It's always fun getting like to hang out with friends. Can't wait to go and visit my friends from like Charleston. I know I keep talking about that every single video, but I am super excited. Mm -hmm. I really am. I'm super excited about it. <laughs> um, but yeah. That's all I have it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go. Um, one thing, wait, one thing before I go. On my way between Walmart and, uh, the zoo and Walmart. I I think it was like 290, but the whole entire other side of the highway was completely blocked off. People are standing outside their cars, they're just like throwing footballs and stuff. I'm like, I have never seen this ever. <laughs> like when we got like, like at the beginning, like right where they blocked it off, there was this black car. It wasn't black, I don't think it was supposed to be black. But the like, fire hide, uh, firemen are like spraying it with humongo hoses. And I'm like, what the hell happened here? 
I, I don't know, I, from what I could tell from, like, Google searches and stuff like that, um, is that, like, two cars, like, collided, um, and, like, one just got caught on fire, like, causing a death and stuff like that, but it's just really weird. Yeah. I will update you tomorrow on what exactly happened. I'll figure out with my mom or somebody. Because she's better at researching this stuff than I am. But yeah, so I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching. Hope your day is fantastic. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Alright.